The Heart Research Institute for Gulf of Mexico Studies, a part of Texas A&M University Corpus Christi, funds an annual expedition for students to observe the coral spawn at the Flower Garden Banks National Marine Sanctuary. Every year, some seven to 10 days after the first full moon in August, all of the reef building corals spawn simultaneously. Because the flower gardens are among the healthiest reefs anywhere in the world, with more than 50% coral coverage, the event is spectacular. At over 100 miles offshore, it requires a lot of preparation and planning to safely bring some 30 students, scientists, and support personnel to the point where they can see and be immersed in one of the wonders of the natural world. It is a chance for students to see why their studies are important and hopefully inspire them to dedicate themselves to assuring healthy oceans for the future. So when I found out that Hart was providing a trip for graduate students that they would fund, it was an awesome opportunity. The rig dive, the corals, the, the night dives, it was just a great opportunity that I couldn't stand to pass up. I came on this cruise because I'd never seen a coral spawn before, and it's a chance of a lifetime, so I wasn't going to pass this up, that's for sure. If you're thinking about coming out here, do it. It's totally worth it. <laughs> In all the dives that I've done, the most magical moment was probably seeing the manta ray coming up behind the boat and just hanging out with us. It was just so calm and beautiful and colorful and I don't know, it was great. The most interesting thing I've seen is definitely has to be the oil ring. Oftentimes it's the smallest organisms that are overlooked and I found those to be the most interesting. All the organisms growing and living on the structure itself very colorful and very beautiful. Probably the most interesting thing I've seen is the clarity of the water itself. I was not expecting it to be this clear. What did you see? Uh, little baby manta rays, um, lots of queen angels. I've never dove with that many sharks before. My heart pounded a little bit, but I was able to uh, focus and get some really cool shots and just seeing them swim around us uh, it was just a great experience. Well, the manta was pretty cool. It's the first one I've seen up close. Jawfish, they're really cool down in the sand, little guys. A uh, big sea turtle on the night dive, that was really cool. advise first-time students coming out here to definitely do some open ocean dives before this one to get comfortable in the water and also know your gear very well. Definitely don't make this your first dive. Have some dives under your belt for experience. Um, be prepared. Uh, make sure they give you a list. Bring everything they tell you to and make sure your fins are securely fastened before jumping overboard <laughs> or else you'll go with one fin like I did. Are you ready? We're ready. You ready? I've been ready. I've <laughs> been ready for about 15 minutes. So. <laughs> I am absolutely in love with diving right now. Even though the sights, they're always going to be here. Everything that you see is going to change every time. And each time you go down, it's going to be a different experience. And if I had the opportunity to go again, I would definitely take advantage of that. Um, I believe that this is a great experience and should definitely take advantage of it. Um, just because this is a really remote area and it's not really easy to get to, so if you have the opportunity, definitely take it. Are we ready? We're ready. Back to my usual position, first in the water. Feel more comfortable. <laughs> of course, this has been an amazing experience. Um, you don't often get an opportunity to do dives like this, especially um, with the university funding it. Diving can be expensive and you got to take every opportunity that you can.
this trip didn't really change my perspective. It just kind of reminded me why I'm in this field and I couldn't imagine doing anything else. Just being out here for two days is kind of just reinforced the fact that I love being out in the field and I love immersing myself in what I enjoy studying. So instead of just like reading about it in a book, I feel rejuvenated every time I get into the water and see what it is that um, I'm so interested in learning about. Instead of just being in the lab all the time, I would love to just work in the field and become a, a research diver, just constantly being around what I love so much. I spent a lot of time recently with computers doing data analyzing, and bringing out here reminds me why I go through all that hard computer work. This just makes it all worthwhile. It's important to have this opportunity just to see different ecosystems, see other things that are close by. And some people get focused on their own projects and uh, never really see what else is out there. And this is a unique place that everyone should get to see sometime. I think it's important to have this opportunity because a lot of people don't understand why people study the oceans. And this gives you a one-on-one -on -one look on the, why the oceans are so important. I'm teaching environmental biology class and I can bring back my experiences here and share them with my students as well as the images and help get them interested and involved in the field. A lot of people don't realize what is all out here and I think to have that experience and share it with others is an important step in promoting conservation for these areas. Who knows where they're going to be in 10 years from now.